Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Did you know that soil has an electrical charge? It's like a great big magnet. Well, Brian, that's why it makes it so fun. I, I just feel electric when I'm out in fields. <laughs> I, I just love plants growing, but it, no, in all seriousness, this does mean a lot of things to farmers. And the most important thing is how to apply nutrients and which nutrients we have to be a little more careful with in the soil. Okay, so basically what it comes down to is soil has a negative electrical charge. Okay, negative. So when I ask you the question, which nutrients are leachable in soil? The first one that most farmers will throw out is, well, nitrogen is leachable. No, nitrogen is not leachable. Okay, there are two main forms of nitrogen. There's nitrate and there's ammonium. Now ammonium, that doesn't leach. And the reason why it doesn't leach is because ammonium has a positive charge. You think about the positively charged ammonium binding with the negatively charged soil, it's pretty obvious. A negative and a positive, they're going to attract. On the other hand, nitrate actually does leach. And the reason why nitrate leaches is nitrate has a negative electrical charge, soil has a negative electrical charge. So you think about that, what do a negative and a negative do? They repel. So your soil is literally forcing that nitrate out of it. So there's a big difference. Don't just think that all nitrogen is going to leach. Nitrate does and the reason why that it does is it has a negative charge. So for farmers what that means nitrogen is such an important nutrient. It's the one that the plants need the most of in order to create a crop. So what farmers have to understand is how do we keep that nitrogen in that ammonium form longer and also what else can we do in the soil to influence its holding capacity so we can hold more nutrients and release more nutrients throughout the growing season? Okay, so Darren mentioned a couple of things there so farmers don't lose that nitrogen. And the bigger issue becomes farmers don't want to lose this nitrogen because it's lost money for them. And for the most part, farmers are doing a great job managing their nitrogen across the country so they're not losing it. Because the issue is if that nitrogen gets lost, where does it go? It leaches down, it ends up in the water somewhere. So farmers don't want that. Like Darren and said farmers are trying to keep that ammonium form longer in the soil so it doesn't leach and how they're doing that is they're applying they're split applying nitrogen they're applying nitrogen only when necessary they're not using excessive rates and the other thing is they're using products called nitrogen stabilizers that actually can help keep that nitrogen in the ammonium form longer and when we talk about building up that soil so it has more holding capacity the one thing that you can influence is the organic matter levels in your soil whether it's your garden or a whole farm you can increase organic matter levels over time our four part strategy is to plant high residue crops, reduce tillage, use cover crops where possible, and finally use manure if it's available in your area. All four of those things over time can help build organic matter levels which will increase the holding capacity in your soil, its ability to hold nutrients, and also when you do that those nutrients will be released throughout the growing season, helping you raise better crops. Well, once again, the most important thing we wanted to stress during today's Farm Basics time is that soil has a negative electrical charge. This is so important for every farmer to know and every gardener to know because any negative nutrient, so for example nitrate, any negatively charged nutrient can leach pretty easily through that soil. So you've got to be very cautious when you're using those negatively charged nutrients. Well, it's also important to know that soil has a negative charge when you're thinking about weed control, especially if you have a weed like this week's Weed of the Week. Can you identify this tough weed? 